don't worry. There are things you can do to give your family gathering a Hollywood ending. Clinical psychologist Dr. Jeff Gardier is here with advice on handling these issues during the holidays. Good morning. Absolutely. Let's give you the 411 on the 911. <laughs> yes, please. Tis the season for dysfunctional familyness. Why? Absolutely, because this is a time that they have to get together. And when they get together, Maggie, now they start replaying all of those old family conflicts around issues of finance and divorce and separation and, you know, you treated one better than the other and you always like Tom <laughs> and all best and so out. on. Exactly. So you say number one is set some ground rules. Absolutely. What do you mean by that? Well, get together with the folks that you will be seeing soon enough by telephone. Give them a heads up that you want to talk about the issues, but together come up with rules such as we're not going to be talking at the table. There'll be sidebars, side conversations. We're not going to step on one another. We're going to listen to one another. And most importantly, we're not going to call each other names. Okay. Number two, parents and dealing with kids who want big gifts, may not get what they want, how do you deal with that? Well, don't wait until Christmas to let them know that finances are tough. Talk to them weeks before and together come up with family solutions, perhaps one gift per child or one big gift for the family that everyone can enjoy. All right, divorce is an issue in a lot of families. If you have uh, divorced couples coming over, Seating arrangement is key, right? Yeah, Russ talked about this a couple of weeks ago. It's so important that you talk to the people and ask them, who would you be comfortable sitting near? Sometimes you want to keep volatile ex-couples away from one another. But if you want people to start working on their issues, you can conveniently place them closer together. Really? Is that the time to take a risk like that? Well, if it's not something where you know that it's not going to blow up but most importantly, put a family intermediary between the two people who can kind of regulate things. I'm available for hire, by the way. <laughs> really? How sad. You're not going to do anything with your family? <laughs> uh, I want to avoid some of those volatile situations, okay? <laughs> Good thinking. What if you have that, that family member who always makes a scene, who always drinks too much? Is there anything you can do about oh, that? Oh, you're hitting the sauce a yeah. little bit too much. Yeah. I, I think, first of all, don't treat them like an infant. Talk to them beforehand and let them know that there are specific behaviors that you'd like for them to stay away from, but say it out of love more than anything else and make sure you feed them a lot more food than they get booze and have some people around who can also help them through that situation. Again, you don't want them to be sick emotionally yeah. or even physically. And lastly, you say that you have to have self-control too when it comes to... Absolutely. One of the, the things party. I like to do is I like to set a limit for myself before I go out. You know, I'm a manorexic, so I'm afraid <laughs> of the, no, I'm really afraid of the calories when have it comes you, to have alcohol. Have you treated yourself for this disorder? Oh, yes, with Dr. Jo uh, 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 Johnny Walker Red, but you <laughs> won't go there. But the point is, if you announce to the people at the party that you have a two-drink minimum, there's a little bit more pressure on yourself to then minimize that. And a great little trick that I think a lot of uh, people should do is put uh, bottles of water in front of the booze, so it now uh, is a reinforcement to drink much more water, uh, especially instead of drinking the alcohol or in between uh, drinking the alcohol. That sounds like a good idea. It's a great idea, All and right. it works. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you so much. Good to have you here. Jeff Gardier.